thought you were working late tonight. Uh, he's at Ben's school at the Mother's Club meeting. Well, you know, even a little busy with the paper, and a man can't get to feel a little lonely after that. My... Wow, what neat stuff! Oh, don't touch those, Ben. Those are grab bag prizes for your carnival. Well, if this isn't a gift from God. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, we're working here. Seventh day, fifth and final card. A seven from heaven, whoa, three of a kind. A ten, lousy luck, ride the garbage truck. And a Jake, what's that make? Two pair, life's not fair. And an ace for the ace. Uh, another full boat, dealer wins again. And on behalf of all the little children, well, very little of what Ben does makes sense. Yeah, good idea. She's just as weird as he is. Yeah, now, Carnival's almost over, folks. We don't want you to go home with any coupons in your pocket, so you can help out over here and sink a shrink for charity. <laughs> When puberty hits, you'll get it, Ben. <laughs> All right, well, look, you're just gonna have to take my word on this one, Ben. Now, puberty is fantastic. I mean, it's like an amusement park filled with girls. <laughs> hey, babe, what's happening? Moves. What are moves? They're what you put on girls. Oh, it is important to look cool. The worst thing I could do is to make it look like I went out of my way for this fox. Girl tonight. Well, I'm going out with Sheena Woo Woo Berkowitz. I'll see you later, <laughs> And why you dress like that? Benny. Benny, are you putting the moves on your babysitter? 18. 18's good. <laughs> DC? No, I don't think my folks... I mean, my Volkswagen's gonna make it. <laughs> wow! Yeah. See, so it'd be a real long drive to DC from Boston. Well, of course you did, Ben. I mean, you were just a starry-eyed little kid. But I guess it's time you learn the truth now that you're a guy. We kind of wanted to know your thoughts. Wrong. Look, first, I'm the guy who thought of this plan. And second, I let you help. No, no, Ben, Ben, you don't call the snake Cecil. Ben, it's supposed to be a wild snake. Wild snakes don't have names. Mike, you promised me that you wouldn't bother your sister's slumber party. Look, Mom, I give you my word. I have not set foot in that house since you went out on your walk. We gotta be... What seems to be the problem? Oh, no. Probably in the sleepy bag. All right, now stand back, everybody. Ben, if I don't make it, call 911. Nice touch. Don't worry, I'll get rid of it. Did I hear someone mention the piano? Whoop. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Money for nothing. Hey, everybody, let's boogie. <laughs> and we're just uh, protecting the women folk here, you know, especially since that giant prowler's been in the neighborhood stealing the nightgowns of teenage women. You can take it in six months. <laughs> All right, Bobby. Uh, no, I just mean Eddie and Boner are gonna go hang out. Uh, Dad, there's no need for you to have to have a talk with me. And, you know, there's no need at all for you guys to wait up for me. <laughs> You're having a breakdown. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Look, we can go park outside a drive-in and lip-read a movie. Oh, uh, big stuff, big stuff. Yeah, we got some dates with some Swedish women tonight. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Right. Hello? Hey, Boner, my man, how you doing? Yeah, I could use a study break. <laughs> hey, Mom, what are you doing home early? Not from where I sit. <laughs> ben, think, if Vinny really had a magic rock, why would he sell it to you for five bucks? Oh, bro. Oh, ben. Okay, fine, whatever. I just need some kind of magic for my speech class tomorrow. <laughs> we'll embarrass her. Which, of course, we will. <laughs> Oh, I get it. This isn't just like a she-geek. This is a he-geek, isn't it? <laughs> a total babe from the honor society. Underwear. One will have a very merry Christmas, no matter what I get under that tree. Even if it's not the CD player that's on sale at Crazy Harry's Computer in Stereo City for only $150, I'll 